expected in a place that lacked brotherhood oversight for so long. Still, this is... Request for... Ah, you must be the one I've been hearing about. Paladin Leila Romani, what do you need? Between this and the report I have from Night Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? Membership in the Brotherhood is a commitment to honor, duty, and service. You would begin as an initiate in our ranks. With time and training, you may one day join the Scrolls as a knight or scribe depending on your aptitudes and choices. On a day-to-day -day basis, Knight Shin would be your direct superior here, though any of the officers may requisition you for missions if needed. Both have given their approval to your initiate consideration, yes. Knight Shin said that your attitude regarding the role of the Brotherhood in relation to the civilian community was questionable. Nonetheless, he felt your intentions were honorable, and suitable training would correct any deficiencies. Which means he probably thought I'd like you. That remains to be seen. In short, she thinks you are capable, helpful, and possessed of a higher than average technical aptitude. Useful qualities in an initiate candidate. Yes? With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first, I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make them see us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. Your reward is that I consider you worthy to join our ranks. Limited intel suggests this is a milk run, perfect for a new recruit. But you're not wrong. We don't know the level of threat. Take this as an additional precaution. If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get this less done. While I'm not in the habit of explaining my priorities to would-be recruits, you may have noticed there's a lot of work to be done here. You doing it accomplishes the mission and adds another member to our ranks. Two birds, one stone. Complete this mission satisfactorily, and I will grant you initiate status within the Brotherhood. Yes. We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams, that we passed on the way into the region. I think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. You should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supply. Very well. Do this, and you will be one of us. With all the rights, and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium.
If you're looking to make a difference, you've come to the right place. This looks like the start of a real force in the wasteland. I'm not sure if I should be thrilled or terrified. Don't get it confused. I don't let you walk about with this crap, trash, junk. Ooh. Oh, there. Uh, Mom, Dad! Who do you think you are barging in here? George? Hold it, stranger. No funny moves. The Brotherhood? Again? Oh, man. Cool! Ha <laughs> ha! I told you they'd be back, Colin. Lower the gun, George. All right. Why don't you come over here and we'll try to do this like civilized folk. Now you need to be more careful just waltzing into people's homes. It's a good way to end up with more lead in you than is healthy. I'm Carol Putnam. This is my husband, George. Now, won't you tell us why you're barging in here and maybe we can all be friendly when you're done. Might not be Lewis or Sons, but this here's ours. Well, Lewis was a cousin of mine back in the day. God rest his soul. He and his family didn't make it when the bombs fell. We were looking a good place to put down roots when we heard it was safe to come back to West Virginia. I told Carol we ought to see if this place was still here. Even after all these years, there's enough salvageable tools and such to make starting a farm easier here than your average homestead. Didn't see any point in updating the sign. No, 
Not all. Just the ones that waltz in unannounced, looking like trouble. Those would be them military types in the heavy armor that came through here recently, right? I'm the one that told them about those attacks. Those Brotherhood guys are so cool. Wait, are you recruiting? I, I want to sign up. Their gear was pretty fascinating. Settle down, boys. The adults is talking. So you want to know about them ghouls? Lord, don't get them started. Oh, oh, yeah. The, the blazers, the power armor, they are the coolest thing I have ever seen. Marty, you barely do your chores now, and you get confused by the generator. What good would you be? Yeah, well, at least I'm not a shrimp like you. Uh, I can pay you to get these two out of my hair. George! I'm just kidding. You boys know we love you. <sighs> Now, I don't like it, but they're adults. Or close enough, I guess. And I know they're bound to want to do their own thing, but the farm needs work. <sighs> we can't do it alone. If one of them wants to go, well, now, George and I'll just have to live with it. But you ain't taking both of my boys, though. Ooh, me, 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 me. Careful, George. You heard the wife. She says one of them can go, then one can go, I suppose. I'd prefer you kept it that way, then. I think I could be a real asset to you, though. I'm good with machines, and I work hard. Heck, I'm the one who repaired the bots outside. Ah, forget about him. The Brotherhood's tough, not a bunch of nerds. I'd be perfect. Let it be, boys. Fine by me. Me, George, and the boys. Marty's the overeager one. Colin's the quiet one. I hope I don't need to remind you we're not defenseless. There's also the robots outside, of course. I got them helping with the chores. <laughs> Nerd. Boys, knock it off. So, us, the robots, and the dogs, I guess. <laughs> And enough firepower to discourage pests. Well, we're getting to be self-sufficient soon. Greenhouse is getting there. George wants to restore the house, but we're fine in here. The boys are gonna want rooms of their own, dear. Don't act like you wouldn't mind being away from their snoring. We've got other work needs doing first. Lord. If I'd put up with your snoring for 20 years, I can surely deal with them. Can't say for certain. We got a suspicion, though. A lot of the sightings and attacks have been from folks traveling the highway to Flatwoods. They come out of the hills, northwest of the old creamery. And the only thing out that way is what's left of the Orwell orchards. Could be the source of the things. You gonna wipe them out when you find them? Not sure. More than a few, less than an army. From what folks have said, if you're going in alone, even a few can swarm you before you even realize what's happening. Be careful out there. All right, then. Can't say for certain. A lot of the sightings in it. And the only thing. Aren't you on a mission from the Brotherhood? You're doing it for them, not for us. She's right, of course, but that doesn't mean we're not grateful for the risk you're taking. Now, now here. Wherever you find ghouls, you're, you're going to find radiation. Well, we can spare this. Good to hear. You'd be doing everybody in the area a favor. 
That's for sure. Safe roads mean safer traders. Good for everyone. The Brotherhood would definitely be making friends if you pull this off. Just try not to startle us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. I really would like to join the Brotherhood. I know I'm not as strong as my brother, but you've got to have a need for somebody smart, right? Smarter than Marty, anyway. No offense to my brother, but if he can't solve a problem with his muscles, he's stumped. I read anything I can find. Most of the work in machinery around the farm is my handiwork. I'm the one who got the bots running. The Brotherhood can't be all brawn and no brains, right? Maybe I'm not. But I'm not cut out to be a farmer, either. The Brotherhood has tech. And that's an opportunity to learn. That's all I want. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be nervous. Won't know until it happens, I suppose. But I'm willing to risk it if it means getting out of here. It is safe. So safe, I'll end up still running this place when I'm old. There's nothing wrong with farming, and I love my parents, but... There's so much more out there. Maybe so, but Marty's right about one thing. The Brotherhood has the coolest tech. It'd be amazing to get to work with it and learn from them. I'm sure. This farm isn't the place for me. The Brotherhood could change the world. It's where I belong. Can you make me a recruit? All right, that seems fair enough. I'll do my best to earn that recommendation, I promise. Are you sure about me, though? I know my brother wants this, too, and I heard Mom. Only one of us can go. Really? That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, you go on ahead. I, I need to talk to my folks and say goodbye and that kind of thing. I'll meet you at Orwell Orchards.
Plant, fertilize, grow, reap. Plant, fertilize, grow, reap. Scanners failing to acquire. Scanners indicate that you are made 90%. with vault tech duty. You're here. It seemed like this was the place. I had to sneak past everything outside, and then I heard some noises deeper in here, so I just hold up to wait for you. I hope that's okay. Don't worry, I will. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this.
himself. Oh, God. Oh, oh wow. That was a lot. Definitely. I might not be the most brave in a fight, but you must need people to keep everything running. And if the occasional moment of terror is the price for getting to work with their tech, I can live with it. I'm still shaking. I'm really a little worried you're so casual about it. I guess I can handle it, but if I have the choice, I'll stick to books and machines, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, actually, thanks. That was... terrifying. Uh, I didn't completely lose it, though, and I'm alive, so I guess that's a good sign. Thanks, really. I know how that would have gone if it was just me. I will. Thanks again for keeping me alive, as well as giving me this chance. I'll make sure you and the rest of the Brotherhood don't regret it. Be safe out there. in Appalachia not a moment too soon. Welcome back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? Ah, oh, that explains young Colin Putnam arriving at our doorstep then. Bright kid. I can't say Shin thought much of him, but if he makes it through basic training, I think you found us another scribe. That'll make Valdez happy. I'm very pleased with your initiative. Excellent job. Not only have you achieved everything we set out for you, but you have expanded our order and helped to secure its future in Appalachia. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready.
while running my own operation would involve this much paperwork. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about that. 